man in your closet? You gotta ask before you go into my room. Anyway, that's just Joe. He's homeless. I came down from Seattle, you know, where I was living, and it was really depressing, because, I don't know, I just felt as if I was about to crack up, you know? And uh, I met this bird in the boozer, and she said, this is closet vacant. It was very reasonable. So I thought I'd take it, and I'm very pleased I did. It's very nice. It keeps the worms away to a large extent. The blue worms, they uh, infest the air in larger buildings and burrow through the skin to the bone and give you hepatitis and uh, three different tropical diseases. I hate that, you know. That's why I've got the hammer, see? Beat me to death with it. Old-fashioned hammer. I just don't know what to do, Joe. These girls are ruining my self-esteem. I don't know. What's coming? What's coming? This generation is full of angst and unknown life desires. And it's all the same shit as it was when I was a kid. You just ain't getting fucked enough. That's basically it, isn't it? Send Reggie in and I'll have a chat with her for you. <laughs> I like your your advice, but I can't understand the fucking word you're saying. Well, that's your problem, isn't it, Chief? Do you have a knock? Oh, sorry, Joe. I thought you moved out months ago. Well, no, I just went away for a while. But it was too bright out there, so I come out in my closet. You having a party out there or something? Uh, yeah. I hope it's not too much of a hassle. Oh, no, it's all right, except uh, I don't have any coats in the closet. No know. one seems to be bringing coats, Joe. It's not really coat weather. Isn't it? Come on out later if you're feeling social. Have a dance, you know, have a dance. OK. Joe, you scared me. I scared you. You're the one with the fucking great knife. And if I might be so bold, your drums are very loud down there. My drums? Drums. Shit. Joe, pack your shit. We're out of here. Again? The paper dolls are finished. So I'm taking it on.